everybody. If you wonder why I'm yelling, it's because I've done this. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five times. And every time it says my volume is not working. My mic isn't working. So I have to yell for just a minute to make sure that I have sound because I keep having to do it over. It's making me crazy. So today is Tuesday. It is almost one o'clock. I've had an interesting day. Interesting, interesting day. So, so funny because every time I look over here, I see all this, my husband's pretzels and look. I have to tell you, I don't know if I told y'all the other day. I think I did. But look, I got him this. It's bigger than my head. <laughs> um, I got him those because <laughs> I told you about I bought those pecans that are as big as your thumb, and it's like, I come in here, and he's eating them, and it's like, stop eating my pecans! They're mine! <laughs> Not really. But um, I do want to have some tomorrow. Starts my P3, and I know. I was I read one of, on uh, the Facebook page, one of Parker's uh, uh comments about not being able to eat nuts because it caused inflammatory response or allergies or whatever but oh my gosh I love nuts today I have to tell you I went to the naturopath and um, he suggests that you go on a Bally diet which I told you drfit.com you can type in B-A-L-I it's to get rid of bacteria allergens it all stands for something I can't remember all but Anyway, so he said the best nuts that you can eat is to get pistachios with sea salt and eat a handful of those a day and it will lower your cholesterol levels and several other things. But he said pistachios are the best nuts that you can eat. I didn't know that, but um, there's a list of nuts. It's on, it's on the website. So anyway, so I did that today and he was he was shocked because he does HCG he coaches people but he's the one that told me to take the 250 IU's a day which I was starving to death but um, last month whenever he took my all he does is take your waist and he takes the waist measurements lower than I do so it was a little different but um, I lost nearly five inches off my waist from last month to this month on his with his measurements and I lost 11 pounds he was shocked he was like oh my gosh whenever I walked in he was like man you look awesome <laughs> thank you thank you very much but today my weight was 156 1.6 away from 50 I'll just keep going on until you're gonna hear it every day until I hit it when I hit it, you can, if you're in California, Miss Susie's body, you can probably hear me yelling up and jumping up and down. And then it'll, I'll need to be at 60. Isn't it crazy how we do that? We, we set a goal and it's the goal, the goal, the goal, the goal. And whenever we get to it, I remember uh, Jamie wanting to be in the uh, 100s. Now she's in the 180s. So it's crazy. It's just awesome, awesome. And I'm sorry about Fluffy No Mo, the two point whatever gain. You'll get it off. You've done awesome. Whenever I watched your vlog last night and you were in the teens, one teens, I was like, holy crap. That's crazy. I want to be in the teens. I don't know if I've ever been. Oh, look at my hat. You can't really see it in this. It's pretty thick stuff. But isn't it? You can't tell from here either out in the sun. It is just the bling. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. My husband bought it for me for my hair. Speaking of, I went today, and I'm going to tell you this, not for you to go, aww. I, I want to tell you because I just thought it was so cool. I've been praying, and my in-laws and my parents and everybody's been praying about my deal with my hair. So first I went to talk to a guy, and... Um, he said it's it's bad. He said it's real bad. He was he was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, because it's burnt. It's breaking off even back here, and I mean in places on top, it's like this long. So, um, 
<clears throat> he said that when you burn your hair like that, it's like putting lighter fluid on it and it's burnt. And he said if you don't take it off, that it'll continue to unravel and go. I mean, it can unravel your hair can the whole length of my hair, even back here. He said that can if there's pieces of it that are burnt. He said it'll continue to break off. So. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to go to him at 4.30. I don't know what my hair is going to look like whenever he gets finished. Um, he said he wants to do a funky haircut to match my personality. Whatever that means. But um, anyway, so I went to the girl that did it. And I walked in and you could see it on her face. Because I left three messages Saturday that it was broken completely off. And so I walked in and she's like, oh, don't. I hope you don't think I was trying to avoid you. I was going to call you. I was going to call you. And I said, you know what? It's okay. It's okay. And I had this hat on and all the girls, there's a bunch of girls in there. And I didn't want to do anything in front of the, all these other people because I didn't want to freak them out. You know, like, hey, she burnt my hair off. She's doing your hair now. But, you know, I didn't want to do that. So <clears throat> I just sat there and she finished one of the ladies and she came up and she said, oh, that's a cute hat. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wish you could see how blingy it is. And um, so she said, well, let me see. And I took it off and she stood there and she said, oh my gosh. She said, I've been doing this for 30 years and this has never happened and blah, blah, blah. And uh, you know how you do, you kind of get a little teary, got a little teary and had to say, you know what, stop it for myself inside. I was saying, stop it. And um, she said, you know, I'll provide you with all the hair care products you need and I'll do this and I'll do that. Now, I told you that she has a blonde handicapped child in a wheelchair she's 13 years old cutest little girl but she's the only source of income and I know you know people need to be careful people need to you know I know I know and she said I am so sorry I'm so sorry and the girl that did my hair started crying she said I don't even know how that happened and this and this and, this. and it was so cool I, I just said in my head, I was just like, God, I give it to you. And and it was so cool. And I, I again, I don't want you to go, oh, you're so sweet. No, don't do that. But I told her, I said, you know what? It's done. It, it can't be changed, and it's just hair. I said, but, you know, God's grace and God's mercy in our lives is there's a thing called forgiveness, and we just have to let it go. And oh my gosh, she started crying. I think she thought I was going to like do the slam down and throw on the ground or something. But it was awesome. Not me, but it was awesome to see um, grace of God given to someone else. You know, and um, she smokes. And whenever, whenever I was leaving, she gave me some hair care product stuff. And when I was leaving... Um, I got in the car and I saw her walking around the building. She had a cigarette and she was walking around and she had her, her hand over her eyes and God's good. That was awesome. That was awesome. So anyway, so today I'm going to go see his name is Ryan. Everybody says he's the most expensive person you can go to. She didn't give me my $140 back. But it's crazy. I was almost afraid to ask her. Not afraid, but it was like, you know, she's got this child and it's her only income. And it's like, you know, can I get my money back? She's like, oh, I'm going to give it to you. I'm so, I'm so sorry. She just cried and cried. So anyway, so, okay. Today is day number, I think, 63 of my VLCDs, which will be over tomorrow. No more VLCDs as of tomorrow. I'll be on phase three. And um, I'm going to do the steak and the eggs. I'm going to read about it. You may leave comment or whatever, whatever you know about it, about the protein deficiency, blah, blah, blah stuff. So I'm going to eat some protein tomorrow. And then I'm going to work really, really hard at uh, continuing to, I mean, I'm not worried about the sugar and the starches. Um, on this Valley Diet, he says to eat. Not a lot, but eat black beans. The darker you can eat, the better you are. But to eat the black beans, and I've got to see if I can find black quinoa. I will be careful with it. Um, I'm not going to eat a lot of it. But it's, um, I just don't want to gain. 
I mean, I really don't want a game. We're leaving Saturday morning, going to Kansas City. Here we come. Makes me think Connie said it reminds her of that song every time I say it. Something about Kansas City. So anyway, I've rambled on, blabbled on for 10 minutes. So I guess I will go for now. And um, I'm not a gopher, but I will go for now. And I'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.